Okay, I'm gonna be honest, it's been a minute since I've been out here, so I got a lot to check on. But the main thing today that I'm looking at is I need to see where my mite levels are at. Now, as you guys know, Casey and I don't treat, but I'm still keeping an eye on them um, because that is something that is important. And I'm curious, I wanna know. So I'm gonna do a little check just to see how they're doing. Um, definitely not gonna be checking every hive as we're up to like 60 something right now. And that would take forever. So I'm just gonna do a rough check and just kind of get a ballpark of how we're doing. We are definitely getting the smoker lit today because it is now angry bee season is what I like to call it, where they're very, very fussy, but I don't blame them. I am also fussy that winter is gonna be right around the corner. Um, so, and also, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but winter bees, their stings hurt. And Casey was just at him yesterday and he said they're definitely making winter bees because they hurt bad. So, I don't know if anybody else has noticed that, but if you have, please let me know in the comments. I wanna know I'm not crazy. What am I missing by choosing to be worried or afraid? This is a question I was asked in a book I was reading and it really made me take a step back and think for a minute. When you worry, what are you choosing not to see right now? We only have so much brain space in a day and with all the distractions that we have today, it is even easier to get stuck in a rut or one pattern of thought. Lately, I've been feeling rather stuck. Not happy, but not sad either. Somewhere right in the middle, almost like indifferent. Now, ain't that a dangerous place to be? <laughs> well, this question really spoke to me because it made me realize what I was doing in my day to day that keeps me in that loop of worry and what if. Now, those thoughts we all have, like, well, this job makes me miserable. Maybe I should go find something different. Oh, but what if I can't find something and it's worse than what I do now? See, that last thought is a worry and a what if. And we construct our whole life around what ifs. Now, what if we go for it and it turns out better than we ever imagined? Now, that's a what if we're thinking about. But we're designed to stick with what we know because it's safe and we know the end result. But what is the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing and expecting different results. Now, in my struggles with finding myself in my 20s and working to build the life I picture in my mind, I'm going to start trying something different so that I hopefully get different results. Now, don't worry, beekeeping is one of the only things I am sure about in this life, so I'm not going anywhere, I promise. But I encourage you to stop and think for a second. What are you missing by choosing to be worried or afraid? Now, let's go work some bees. All right, before we get into the mite checks, I'm going into this hive because I just made these splits. Um, I believe it was two weekends ago. So it's been two weeks since I made them. Um, just checking up on them to see how they're doing. And I'm going into this hive. This was one that I was really hoping that they would work out. But this hive was very, very badly robbed. Um, in fact, I'm starting to wonder if possibly some of the queens in this hatched out and I wonder if they sent out swarms because this hive was full in this box and that box when I first did it. But now it's just this really small cluster of bees. And then, okay, so when you take out the comb, you see how it looks very rough on the edges. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there is like, it looks really rough. Um, this tells me that it has been robbed. Also including that there's a bunch of uh, honeycomb debris down there. And see how there's not even bees on this brood over here? This hive was severely robbed, really bad. Um, its mother is that hive right there. So I'm gonna check that one to see what's going on. I wonder if some of them moved over there. Um, but then I'm going into the hive and I was pulling out some frames that had queen cells on it. Let me pull one out again. Let's see, I believe it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. Hold on. 
Okay, so see this side? I tore one out that was right here um, just to see what how old they were. And they're still in the larva stage and they're still white, so they might still be alive because it's been warm enough. Not really sure, but none of this brood is being attended to, which is kind of alarming. And then I look over here and I see this one was, looked like it came right out. This one came out. These ones look like they were stung from the side, which means the queen that came out must have killed them. But where is she? So now I'm starting to wonder if maybe they took a swarm and left. Um, this is not what I was wanting to happen, and I've never seen this happen. I swear as a beekeeper, there's never a dull day. There's always new things that happen. So I'm about to figure out what to do with all this brood and bees. Um, they need more bees for sure, and they have no honey stores now. So I'm probably going to have to combine them onto something else to help strengthen those. But yeah, dang. Sad to see that that failed. Yeah, this box was completely full, but now it's completely empty. <sighs> I've never seen a robbing that bad. Wow, they literally didn't even stand a chance. <laughs> well, I think we know who stole some of that honey. This hive had empty frames up here, which are now completely drawn out. And we haven't had that big of a honey flow. But I guarantee they stole, they were one of the ones that stole it. Possibly stole some bees too. Woo! Oh yeah, they drew this out in probably a week. See all that white comb? Either we're on a flow or they stole it. That is for sure. Cause that is strong. Strong, strong. They're already ready for another box. Jesus. I just gonna check one frame real fast. If I can even get one out of here. They got a lot of bridges going on. Looks like it may be all capped. Yep. That's beautiful. Got a nice, beautiful cap both sides. Looks like every frame in here is like that. Yeah, this box is gonna be heavy. They honestly don't need all of this honey. I don't know. I might take some of it. All right, now the real question is whether or not I can pick this box up. <laughs> oh yeah, she's heavy. Okay. Oh gosh. Packing a lot of bee bread in there. They always do that sometimes where they pack a bee bread frame right in the middle of the hive. So weird. I don't understand why they're doing that. Oh, I bet you they might be trainier. More bee bread over here. Oh, and there she is. Nice and shiny and beautiful. Lots of bee bread. They're just packing it on in there. All right. Looking for some open larva. Right now I see eggs and calf brood. This one may be a good one to check. Got some bees coming out. Yeah, we're gonna check this one. Ooh, or maybe the next one. Hold on. All right, got my little cup. Fill it up about halfway. Got my measuring cup too. Gonna get my lid. here take my frame and then go that fly out aren't the ones you want to test all the ones that stay in there are the ones you test because those are nurse bees and then shake 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 we love the shake <laughs> does anybody else know that song the shade song the shade 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 we love the shade i remember that from uh elementary school god i feel old i know i'm not old but i feel old and then it usually takes a minute Get 
Give him some time. All right. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. That one looks like a piece of something, but not a mite. So it looks like four. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, it's definitely grown up a little bit since last time. I don't remember if it was zero or one mite in this one last time. But this hive's never had a brood break. In fact, we haven't done much of this hive. We just kind of let it do its thing all year. And as you can see, it's doing absolutely wonderful. Here we go. They're all right together though, so that'll be a better view for you. I'm seeing four mites right now. One, two, three, four. Actually, nope, there's a fifth one. Now I'm seeing five. All right. That's going to put me at about a one and a half percent, which that's okay. Um, and then I usually leave it for a little bit um, because the Dawn dish up does take a little bit longer for it to um, take the mites off. They do say it's a little more accurate than an alcohol wash. So I usually leave it until I use it again and double check it just to make sure. Wow, look at that brood pattern. And, okay, so if you look at some of these cells, some of you are going to say, M, your cells look dry. But there is some new research out that, actually, this is a good thing for this time of year. So what is happening right now is they are slightly starving the brood of brood food, which contains protein. This is why they say not to feed pollen um, this time of year or in the fall time, because this is what actually signals the production of winter bees. This is what signals the switch in them becoming winter bees and producing a bigger fat body and more vitelligenin. So actually, it's a good thing that these cells are a little dry right now, because this tells me these are going to be winter bees. Yay! Huh, check this out. It's a piece of grass. My phone will zoom in on it. Maybe this will help. Yeah, look at that. See, this is a piece of grass that they propolized um, because it was accidentally stuck in the hive. That is super interesting. Hey, how's it going? I'm just sitting here editing, enjoying a pretty sunset that you probably can't even see right now. But I just wanted to say, so at the end of this video, I'm not going to do a question at all today because my next video is going to be a complete question and answer video. So if you have any questions at all, it doesn't matter what they are about beekeeping, throw them in the comments and I will answer them in that video. And thank you so much for being here. I always love having you here watching the videos and I love hearing all of your guys' experiences and all of the cool things you guys learn about bees. But that is all for me today. I will catch you guys in the next one and don't quit and be fit.